a former Olympic venue in a city in a region that has suffered devastating war. Standing as it did for the 1984 Olympics, this rebuilt center in the Bosnian capital Sarajevo is now hosting a two-day conference addressing stability and economic recovery in the Balkans. In advance of the summit for stability, Balkan leaders are drafting a pact promoting their vision of the region's future. They're to be joined on Friday by US President Bill Clinton and other world leaders who are expected to support the stability pact. The visiting heads of state will see a city change dramatically since the three-year war which ripped Yugoslavia apart. A $5.1 billion program has helped Bosnia rebuild its shattered infrastructure. Haris Selajic, who led the wartime government in Bosnia and is chairing the summit, hopes the entire region will enjoy a similar rebirth. So I hope this summit will be a, an encouragement and, if you like, a, a, you know, a strong recommendation for us to go ahead, especially when it comes to the return of refugees. For three and a half years, Sarajevo's besieged population was pinned down by Serb forces circling the city. But the city is now trying to rebuild its image and had UN troops out in force to make sure everything goes smoothly for the visiting world leaders. And as those leaders gather in Sarajevo to discuss the Balkans, Kosovo is experiencing the first few weeks of peace which was formally declared last month. The province can hopefully now look forward to the same rejuvenation that's taking place in Bosnia.